Woven coasters make great gifts for wedding showers, birthdays, and hostesses. Pick out your favorite belly pops and get started. Sew consistent sized tubes of fabric with the Fast Turn Perfect Tube Guide and turn fabric tubes with batting using the Fast Turn Set. Weave 12 stuffed tubes to create a square or round coaster with binding on the edges. Here are the helpful notions for creating the woven coasters. We have wonderful ballet pops in green and brown. Simply pick 12 strips to create the woven coasters or you can use scrappy fabric from your stash. We're going to be creating tubes and stuffing them with batting. Also we'll use a marker to uh, trace the circle mix and match template to create the round coaster. We're going to use the fast turn set. It consists of six cylinders and three turning wires. And then we also have the fast turn perfect tube guide, which teams up with the perfect tube tiger eye. This will determine the placement to create the different size tubes. Also, we're going to uh, weave our coasters on the quilters cut and pressed one. Use optional pins to hold everything down. Use the one inch bias tape maker to create crosswise or bias binding. I'm getting set up to sew my perfect tubes with two and a half inch strips of ballet pops. First I need to use the perfect tube tiger eye guide. It is a cutting and alignment tool for the fast turn perfect tube guide which is this portion of the guide. On the left side of the guide it shows the cutting strips for the six different size cylinders. The guide shows that number five is using a two and a quarter inch strip. Since my ballet pops are two and a half this is the perfect cylinder size to use. My seam allowance will be slightly different. On the alignment tool at the top for cylinder number five, it also gives me a needle position. It has a little hole that actually my needle can be inserted into the guide. What I have to do is align the alignment guide inside of the fast turn guide. On the back side, it has adhesive. I simply remove my ad uh, little adhesive area, slide it underneath my machine and make sure that my needle is going into the number five cylinder opening and then secure the guide to the base of the machine. Prior to sewing, I'm going to lift my needle out of the guide and remove my perfect tube tiger eye placement and I'm ready to sew. Before sewing, there's a little more explanation about the perfect tube guide. It has a gray little finger, metal finger, and I do have it attached at my machine just so that you know that it can, you can slide your fabric in while it's attached. I'm simply going to fold right sides together of my two and a half inch strip. I'm sliding the strip of fabric underneath the arm and then I'm going to fold it over, ne over the arm as well. And I'm going to continue feeding it through till it comes out the other side and always try to keep that nice and aligned. So here I have it truly attached to my machine in the proper position. Again, I have folded my fabric right sides together. I'm aligning my edges and they're perfect. And I have my machine set at a very narrow zigzag, like a 1.0. The reason for a very narrow zigzag the stitches don't pop when you put them on the tube. I always make a test run and make sure that my tube will fit on my number five cylinder and it fits perfectly. The next thing we're going to do is press the seams open. Before pressing my little test sample, I would like to review the cutting and sewing techniques. First of all, I cut batting a half inch wide 
And then I'm working with my Bally Pops. I have 12 of them sewn together. I'm going to be subcutting these strips into seven inch increments. They are going to yield a total of four woven coasters. Now I'm ready to press my test sample. I'm using the mini iron and I'm pressing directly on the cylinder and next we're going to turn the tubes. I'm ready to turn my test sample. First of all, it's still on this number five fast turn cylinder. The fast turn also has a turning wire. At one end is a, like a corkscrew end and the other end has a handle. I'm simply going to insert the corkscrew end into the opposite end of the fast turn and I'm going to fold my fabric down over the cylinder opening at the opposite end and I'm also going to turn my wire until it goes all the way through the fabric. Also I'm going to turn and catch my batting with the corkscrew end as well. It takes just a little bit to turn and then I'm simply going to pull pull it through and the open seam allowance is the lines on top of the tool and the batting is being pulled through simultaneously with the remainder. Simply unscrew the corkscrew at the other end and we're ready to press. I have completed turning all of my stuffed tubes. I have them pinned to the quilters cut and press. S just starting from light to dark, I'm going to start weaving. Weave under and over, under and over. I'm going to just slide this up to the top and get my second color and weave under and over, under and over. Repeat this until all six strips are woven together for a total of 12 strips. Here we have one that's already completed. I would pin the outer edges just to hold all of the woven sections together. Simply overlay the circle template on the woven coaster. It has grid lines down the center. Simply align with the center of your woven coaster and mark the outer edges. After marking the outer edges, remove the template and stitch on that line. Next I'll show you how to make your binding. After marking your circle coaster, stitch on that line, then trim a quarter inch beyond that marking. For the square woven coaster, stitch right beyond the last weave of the woven coaster and then trim a quarter of an inch. The binding for the, wo the square woven coaster, you can use your crosswise strips cut two inches wide. For the round coaster, we will need to cut our fabric on the bias. It will be a two inch strip cut on the bias and insert it into the one inch bias tape maker and advance it through until it comes out the other end and press. Then use your favorite binding technique to attach it to the round or square coaster. Get started right now making these great woven coasters, either round or square, as gifts for friends and family. Choose your favorite Bally Pop strips and sew consistent sizes of stuffed fabric tubes with the Fast Turn Perfect Tube Guide and Fast Turn. Weave the gradation of fabric colors or make them scrappy. Have fun and enjoy the creative process.